Hey, Christ Community Church family, what a crazy time we're living in with the coronavirus crisis and the, the plummeting financial markets. My dad, who went home to be with the Lord less than a year ago, would often say when things got rough, the Lord is still on the throne. And that's true. Our Lord Jesus Christ is still on the throne. Now, the craziness for Christ Community Church has been intensified this week by the governor's request that all large public meetings, including church services, be canceled until further notice. This request impacts CCC in a huge way. Uh, we have four campuses holding a total of nine services each weekend. But in the interest of public safety, we believe it's best to comply with the governor's request. So we will not be holding our services at our current physical locations for the next several weeks. This was a, a very difficult decision to make because we need each other. When we get together on weekends to worship God and fellowship with other believers and listen to the teaching of Scripture, our faith is built up. We're strengthened to deal with our daily challenges. Our weekend services fortify our lives with hope and courage as we meet in community with other Christ followers. However, we will still have the opportunity to worship together online. I mean, we will be broadcasting our services each week at 5 p.m. on Saturdays and 9 and 11 a.m. on Sundays. Thanks to technology, this will allow us to gather as a church in spirit, even if we can't be together physically. You might even be able to take advantage of this opportunity to invite someone to watch the online service with you, family member or friend who wouldn't normally go to church. And if you do miss the online service, which I hope you won't, you can still watch just the sermon online at any time during the week. Those of you who have children, we will also provide you with resources to have your own kids world in your home. So just go online to our website each week, ccclife.org, and check out our Kids World page. We'll equip you to cover the same lessons with your kids that they would have been taught at our campuses. Moms and dads, this will be a great opportunity for you to spiritually mentor your children. Okay, what else are we canceling at our campus locations? Well, unfortunately, because of the health risks, we are canceling all all ministries and programs effective immediately with the exception of adult community groups that meet off-site. Off-site. So we encourage you to continue meeting with your adult community group for Bible study, prayer, mutual support. You'll need it. If you're not currently in a group, this may be a good time to join one. Just go to the home page on our website. So adult off-site community groups still on. But all other ministries, all other events that take place in our buildings are canceled until you hear differently from us. Which leads me to my next point. How will you get updated information from Christ Community Church? Just go to our website, ccclife.org. On the home page, you'll be able to click on the CCC Coronavirus Update. And we'll be posting new information at the site at least once a week, most often toward the end of the week. We'll also continue to communicate through e-blasts and social media. May I also encourage you at this time to give generously to the ministry of Christ Community Church. You know, many of us recently made or renewed commitments to be generous givers during our February Whole 90 series. So let's resist the temptation at this time to cut back on our contributions to the Lord's work. At Christ Community Church, we, we still have international impact partners around the world who depend on our support, as well as insurance, mortgage, utilities, staff salaries to cover here at home. 40% of our givers already contribute online, so you guys know what to do. But for those of you who are used to bringing your donations to church and putting them in the offering bag, we need you to tr transition to online giving. Now, unless you want to put your checks in the mail or drop them off at our offices during the week, and our offices will stay open. To become a regular online giver, just go to our website at ccclife.org or download our phone app and then click on Give and follow the prompts. Please make your gifts recurring. Make them recurring so that they happen automatically. I can't begin to tell you how much I appreciate your faithful giving at this time. One last thought, and then I'll close. It's easy to become overly self-protective during threatening times, but Christ followers are called to continually love and serve others. 
I mean, one of the reasons that the church grew so quickly in the first centuries was because of the way it responded to health crises, especially plagues. It was common for non-Christians to abandon sick relatives for fear of catching the disease. But believers in Jesus had a reputation for courageously caring for those in need. As a result, many of those who were nursed back to health became Christians. So if we respond compassionately to hurting and frightened people during this present crisis, it could be Christ Community Church's finest hour. You know, I'm encouraging our community impact pastor and our campus pastors to ask the local officials in our communities how we might be of help during this season of coronavirus. Please pray. Please pray for our church at this time. And please know that we are praying for you. We're especially praying for those of you who are being hit hard by either health or financial issues right now. The Lord is still on the throne. The Lord is still on the throne. And he promises to be our ever-present help in times of trouble. So do not fear. The Apostle Paul tells us, 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and love. That's what I'm praying for you, a spirit of power and love. I hope you'll join me at one of our online services this weekend, ccclife.org, 5 p.m. on Saturday or 9 or 11 a.m. on Sunday. I love you guys.